Hi everyone! Today I have a large haul to share with you and I'm going to call it Bought, Thrifted, and Gifted. So you might want to grab a drink for this because it's a big haul. So stick around. So the reason that I'm calling this Bought, Thrifted, and Gifted is because a couple of the items I actually bought somewhere other than Goodwill or a thrift store. And a lot of the items that I'm going to share with you were thrifted and a big majority of the items were actually gifted from my brother and sister-in-law. They decided it was time for them to make over their kitchen and they, to my advantage and to my good luck, had their whole kitchen and dining room decorated with roosters. And if you've been following my channel, you guys know that I'm passionate about Tuscan decor and I love incorporating roosters. So the other day or a couple of days ago, actually, I was talking to my brother and, you know, he told me that, hey, we're going to be redoing the kitchen. Do you want all of our roosters or a lot of their roosters because they weren't going to keep many? And of course, I was so excited, and you guys know how excited that I can get. So just imagine the excitement that I had whenever my brother told me that. I was overjoyed. So I was able to get together with him a few days ago, and I was just, I was so happy. So, but I have a lot to share, so I better get busy with this haul. So this is the first piece that I want to share with you guys, and this was actually from my mom. Um, I also was visiting with my mom a few days ago. I don't get to see my mom very often at all, you guys, and I really miss that. I wish I got to see her more than what I do. And But she asked me if I wanted this because she knows how I love my Tuscan. And oh my goodness, I was thrilled. So, and it has the grapes, and this is so huge, you guys. It's really heavy and good, so I can really have a lot of fun decorating with this. This next item I did buy at Goodwill. There's actually two of them. And whenever I was walking past the aisles of the curtains and the rugs and all that fun stuff that I love to look at, they were just hanging there wide open. And I could get a clear view of these. And I walked up and I just couldn't believe it. They are in great shape, you guys. I'm going to have to wash them up, but it'll be fine because they're going to go on the floor anyway. So check this out. Oh my goodness, this is the first one. I could not believe this. They are in great shape. The backs, I'll show you the backs. The backs aren't like cracky and dry rotted like the backs get or anything. It's like they are in such good shape. And this one was $3.99. So I couldn't pass it up. And this is the other one. And this one also was $3.99. But I just thought, these are perfect. And you can see the back, it's not cracked. So I'll just wash them on hand, either the hand wash cycle or my delicate cycle. And they'll be great to go. And I also bought this at Goodwill. And you guys know that I like decorating with scarves or pashminas. And I just thought this one was so pretty. I loved the colors. The, te the colors just really will work well with my Tuscan. And you know, this can even work for fall. Won't this be pretty for fall? I just thought that it is so, so nice. And let me see, I didn't pay much at all for it. It might've been $2. Can't find the tag. Let me see. It was, and if I didn't want to decorate with it, I could always wear it. <laughs> that's always, it's always an option. Yeah, it was $1.99. So couldn't beat that. And this is another item that I got at Goodwill because you guys know if you've been following my channel, I love decorating with wine boxes. And I saw this and I couldn't believe it. I don't have one this small. I have another smaller one, but it's like flat and just wider. But this one will be perfect. I can put it on a shelf. I can put it on a table to add height, but so cute. And I would love to, I know that you guys, a couple of you had mentioned that if I would like kind of put my decorative boxes like standing up. And I would love to do that. 
don't think I haven't thought of that because I have, but on the one that my mom gave me, it has a lock like this right in the center. So I'd really have to kind of play around with it to be able to actually sit it like this. But this one, because it has the two hinges, I could probably do that. So it'll be fun to decorate with. And I only paid $2.99 with it. So, and I can always also use it for storage. So it's a double win. And wait till you guys see this. I, I was so excited whenever I saw this at Hobby Lobby and I had to buy it, you guys, because you guys know I love my roosters, right? So check this one out. Is he not gorgeous? I just could not believe it. He was the only one that they had that day. And I lucked out, he was on sale. He was regularly $79.99 and I got him for $40. So he was 40% off. So I was so happy. And I just think he's so cute. And, you know, just to let you guys know, I have two collaborations coming up in the next two weeks. And I'm not going to let you know who they're with yet, but they're going to be awesome. So some of these items that I'm going to be sharing with you, I'm probably going to be incorporating a couple of these items. So you don't want to miss it. Trust me. It's going to be good. So, but I love him. He's adorable. And this is also another Goodwill find. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think these are so cute. And I was so excited to find them. Now, I usually don't go for plastic placemats. I usually like the cloth. But I just thought, you know what? It's okay. I can make these work. And they were only 99 cents each. And I was so fortunate because they had eight of them and they're all the same pattern. And I did a collaboration with Antoinette from Decorating Ant's Place a couple of weeks ago. It might've actually been a couple months ago now. And I was so hoping that I would have had rooster placemats for an art tablescape and I didn't. So I'm so happy to have found these because these are going to be awesome. But that was definitely a great find. So now let's see. I think I'm ready to share a lot of the goodies that my brother and sister-in-law gave me. Now, some of the pieces I won't be sharing because it was like a set. Like a, one of the things that they gave me was a set. So there were a lot of items that came with the set. So to just show you every individual piece would just be kind of silly. So but I'll make sure I tell you what was part of the set. But this is the first thing that they gave me and oh my goodness i think this is adorable and guess what guys it's a little hen i don't have to pretend anymore so cute i love this i think it's adorable so i was so thrilled to get this piece so or no yes yes this is the hen yes sorry you know what it is so difficult to tell which are the hens and i know my brother told me that one of them was definitely a hen, so I didn't have to pretend anymore, but it might, if it wasn't this piece, it might have been the other one, but you'll see it anyway, but at least I won't have to pretend anymore that I have a hen, but I think it's, I think this is so sweet, and I can see like putting like eggs in here, because you guys have, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love decorating with eggs in the spring, and I thought I could put some eggs in here, or maybe I can put a floral arrangement, that would also be really cute, but there are so many different things that I can do with this. So it will be fun. And let's see, what was this one? Oh, I have another Goodwill find I forgot to share. I found these, you guys. And I've been finding myself doing a lot more tablescapes. And I wanted to add some other colors and just different sizes and shape, you know, shape of plates, just different styles of plates to some of my tablescapes. And I was wanting a color similar to this. And I found these and I thought, you know what? These are probably like camping plates, but I don't care. They are perfect. They're the, they're like the metal, like kind of like how a, um, a roaster would be, you know, like that enamel finish. And it has the little, you know, the little speckled paint dots. And I just think they're so cute. And I got a set of eight of them for $6 at the Goodwill. So... I'm going to have fun with these very soon. And let's see. Oh, this is another find 
from my brother. And I think this is adorable. Isn't that cute? I can put this on and I hope that there's no glare. Let me see, let me put my light down here. There we go. I hope you can see that better now. I hope there's no glare or reflection, but I think this is adorable. And I can put this on a plate stand because I doubt that I'll hang this, but I just think that there's a lot of ways that I can decorate this. I can add this into a vignette, so that'll be fun. And do you guys remember whenever I shared those um, serving dishes that I bought? A couple of you told me that they were actually from QVC. Well, wait till you see this. This, they never, my brother and sister-in-law never even used this. And this was a gift for them, I believe they said from their wedding. And oh my goodness, you guys, is this not adorable? And it is definitely a hen. Yay! I got a hen, right? But I think it is so cute. So it has the top, it comes off. And then it has the bottom. And then it also has this cute little tray that comes out. You could use this for a little serving plate, anything. Put a little loaf of bread, cheese, and it has the basket. And I couldn't believe it. And I was so excited whenever I saw it because I told them, because they didn't know where it came from. They just knew that it was a gift. And I said, oh my goodness, you guys, that's from QVC. And they're like, how do you know? I said, because some of my viewers told me about my serving dishes. So I couldn't believe it, right? This is so cute. Now I have two um, items similar to this because you saw my last haul. You saw that other piece that I wasn't sure if it was like a soup terrain or if it was like a, you know, a casserole dish, but so cute. They'll definitely be a lot of fun. And this was also from my brother and sister-in-law, and I just think it's adorable. And this will be really nice to put on a shelf or in a vignette. And then there's this cute little napkin holder. Isn't that adorable? I just thought it was so cute and it matches so sweet with this. And there's this little piece. I think it is so cute. So I'm gonna be having so many new pieces to incorporate and play with. It's going to be so much fun. And these were part of a set. And there's two of them. And these are so cute because, you know, I can use these at my coffee bar. I could put, you know, um, like tea bags. I could put sugar in them, the sugar bag or the little sugar packets because I like to use like the stevia and the truvia in my tea. So these would be great for that. Um, just, you know, I could even just take it, leave the one lid open and put straws in there or little stirring spoons. So I could do all kinds of different little things with these. And this is, there was a service for four of this. And there's the plates. And whoops, let me turn this light ring down. Sorry about that. I always forget about the glare and the reflection from my light ring. So I apologize. I don't want to blind anybody because I know that it, it can really be irritating. So here is the plate. And like I said, there's a service for four. And they're so nice, you guys. And, you know, if I don't want to set them at a table setting, it's like I could decorate on a shelf with them. Let me just turn my light ring back on. So I can do so many different things with those, too. And I thought this was really sweet. It's a serving, like, platter for veggies or chips and dip. Oh, let me see. You probably saw the glare again. Sorry about that. But isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. It has the little rooster in the center. And look at the color around the edge. I think it's so pretty. And the inside is almost made to look like a basket. I just think that's really nice. And I'm really running out of room around me. My husband is still working from home, so I really have to try to, you know, keep it down whenever he's having telecons because our house is so big and echoey that you can hear a lot of background noise. So I'm trying to be in a little one of the bedrooms and just trying to kind of be out of the way so he doesn't hear me too much. 
Um, but I have some more items to share here. I'm going to just turn my light ring back on. There we go. And this was also part of the set. And it's such a cute little, little, cute little container. And this would definitely work for like powder coffee, the non-dairy coffee creamer. So I love like the Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks sugary, lovely coffee drinks. I love them. My daughter and I, we go get them. That's so just a nice little treat. But if I'm having just a regular cup of coffee, I really like to use the non-dairy creamer. And I'm sure that I get that from my mom because my mom always growing up, I can remember her using the non-dairy creamer. Not that she doesn't like the lovely flavored coffee creamers that they have now, but she always used the non-dairy. So, and with that set, there were, and I know there's another one too, and I must not have brought them in, but there are two different sets of coffee mugs and there was four coffee mugs each. So, whoops, there's that light ring again. Sorry about that. But I think they're so sweet. And I have a coffee cup uh, rack, so this will be really nice. I can just put those on there and just decorate that up a little bit more. And this is so cute. Oh my goodness, isn't this adorable? I can have so much fun decorating with this. I just think it's so sweet. And I hope that there's no reflection on this piece. And there's also this, this is gorgeous. And I'm just gonna turn my light ring down. But what do you think? Isn't this awesome? I love this. And if I don't wanna use this for food, I can always decorate with it. I just think it's beautiful. And this is a Susan Wiggett. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but this is actually from her collection. But I think it's just beautiful. And wait till you guys see this next piece. Let me turn my light up. But this, I could not believe it whenever he showed this to me. Oh my goodness. You ready? Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my goodness, you guys. I have been wanting a feathered rooster for such a long time. And whenever my brother was sending me some pictures over of some of the stuff that they had that they were getting rid of, he sent me a picture of this and I about went through the roof. Seriously, I was that excited because even my husband knows I've been wanting a feathered rooster for so long. So you're definitely going to be seeing this very soon because I can't wait to decorate with it. And I think I have one more piece to share. Um, I think so, yeah. This was also in, oops, let me get that light ring down again. Sorry about that. This was also a piece in the, um, the set. And it's just like a little utensil holder. And I didn't, I don't have to use the utensils. He just gave it to me like this. But I could put flowers in it, but I think it's so cute. And I think actually I do have one more little item, but it's nothing major. It's just a little biggie or a little thing. But um, so I got this, I picked this up at the Goodwill and it was 99 cents, but it's gold raffia. And you guys know that I like to add raffia into my decorating, into my vignettes. And I just thought, wow, I've never seen gold raffia. So I thought, that's really cute. So, I mean, I think it was open. Somebody probably took a little bit of it out, but it's not like I'm gonna be eating it or using it on my body or anything. It's raffia, so I thought, I'm gonna get it, even though it was open. But yeah, 99 cents, so. But yeah, I think that's it for my haul. It was quite a bit, so I was so excited to share it with all of you. And you know, just like I said, I have two really awesome collaborations coming up in the next two weeks. So that's going to be a lot of fun and they're with wonderful channels. I'm so excited to be collaborating with these two channels and I'm not gonna tell you their names, but that's just a little teaser that those are coming up. And I also wanna be sharing some more um, outside gardening videos. I did put out my first one actually um, on Tuesday. So if you didn't get a chance to see that, I'll make sure that I link it down below in my description box. And I just wanna 
it's a, it was just a raw video um, of what my gardens looked like, you know, fresh out of fresh out of winter and into the spring. But I want to have you guys be able to watch my gardens transition, you know, over the spring and summer. Watch everything come to life and bloom. But if you like this video, I really hope you'll give me a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. I'm getting so close to that thousand subscriber milestone. I'm not very far away. So if you've been watching my videos and just haven't subscribed yet, I really hope that you'll make that choice to just hit that subscribe button. So, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.